The Lilla G. Frederick Pilot Middle School, located in Dorchester, Massachusetts, is a large inner city school faced with the challenges of efficiently and cost-effectively communicating and collaborating between teachers and administrators. Since all of the students and teachers in the school have access to laptop computers and wireless internet, the school decided to make use of a free suite of applications from Google called Google Apps. The suite makes available five applications that are designed specifically for the educational environment. Gmail, Google Talk, Google Calendar, Google Docs, and Google Sites. Well, the Frederick is a really big school. We have 650 students, we have almost 60 teachers, another 14 paraprofessionals. It's really hard to keep track of everything that's going on in a school this large. And so the Google Apps provide us the opportunity to really be more collaborative, to know what's going on in the building, to be able to make our meeting time more effective. We had the pie in the sky idea of what we want, and we had no money to do it. And we came across this Google Apps idea, and being free, I think, you know, it, it drew us in. But what's wonderful about it, it does everything that some of these expensive tools do. It, it is a full-on communications tool that any business could use, never mind a school. And another piece that's uh, you know, wonderful about this product is that it, it's web-based. The fact that anywhere, anytime, any place, I can pull up my calendar, I can chat with a teacher, I can work on a document that we've shared with each other. And this is incredibly important in a school, especially because of the time issues. Google Docs is made up of a word processing program, spreadsheet software, as well as presentation and form generating programs. Documents is a state-of-the-art word processing program offering many of the same features as other more expensive document generating programs. The key difference is Google's ability to share these documents among a group of people and allow for changes and updates in real time. Everyone opens up their laptop, the Google Doc is right there. It's a question, a comment, a writing prompt. They just have to quickly write a response in. After everyone writes a response, everyone sees what everyone has written, give a minute or two to read what everyone else is thinking, to process, and then we go right into discussion. Are we having the teachers write their full paragraph on the Google Doc? Should we do that? Oh. So that we can all could see the paragraphs? Yeah, we could do that so then we can see it all at one time. So maybe I will then kind of fill the... Jason, Jessica and I have really been working at how do we make a math science classroom, which is mine, and a humanities classroom, Grace, is how do we really um, combine what we've been teaching and make sure that our kids are seeing that what we're learning in every class is applicable. And is it labeled? Uh, sixth grade. And we were able to do that over the summer by creating a Google Doc that we mapped out our entire year's curriculum. So you can be sitting in a meeting with a group of 10 people and be working on a document about you know, your literacy strategies in your sixth grade classes, and everyone can have the same document up on their screen, all editing it at the same time. The Mesopotamian Empire will be finished, and um, they just had their intro to, to Patterson, so we're right on target where that is. Okay. It's because it's a Google Doc, we are able to change it and adapt it and look back at where we started and where we are. And we've throughout the year been changing it. We have evidence of what our plan was, evidence of how it's changed, and now as we think towards next year, it makes it a lot easier to see what we're going to need. And so if a, a team of people are working on, say, a cross-curricular application, a, a process, or, or lesson planning, I can actually go into that Google Doc real time. I can be there when they're there or when they're not and be looking at everything that's going on. Uh, the nice thing about that is that I then can say to another group that I know is struggling with a similar issue, you should go look at this Google Doc because they've got some stuff figured out that might be helpful to you. So I think without this, we would never have successfully created an interdisciplinary unit. And we've managed over one summer to create an interdisciplinary year. And it's really happened quickly. And I, I know it wouldn't have happened if we hadn't had access to this. So now you know the process. Usually at the end of advisory, you pull out the progress. You pull out the laptops. You open it up. You go to where? Okay. Your website. My website. I wanted to do a progress report where the students could respond and put in their own information. And in that way, I could quickly assess their writing skills. I could see whether or not they got information from the class that we had. Just quick snapshot. And I sat down, put it together, and then from there, it was, it was off and running. And the kids love it. 
they get to go onto my website, they click on this link, it opens up, and they quickly type their information in. So for them, it's engaging, it's interactive, and it's something that's moving for them. So when the students input into the different fields, you see basically an Excel sheet. And so the student's name will come up on this side, there's a date stamp, and then under each category, I have a quick glance of what's going on with each student depending on the categories. Teachers are excited because they can use a tool that we've been given for many different purposes. To make it easier and more manageable and more accessible is the way to go. And so this has been really beneficial to teachers. Google Mail, or Gmail, is a well-known and reliable email program. What makes this program uniquely suited for teachers is its ability to organize emails in conversations, a more intuitive way to search and categorize emails. Our parents uh, often are working two, maybe three jobs. They're working late at night. They can't always engage in the school activities after school. They can't always check in easily on their children because they're not accessible by phone. But given the universal access of, of the internet, given the opportunity to use any computer anywhere that has access and communicate with me at any time that they're available to do so and then my being able to respond makes life so much easier for them. It allows a, a level of communication around their child's academic success, behavioral success, uh, school attendance and so on and so forth that they otherwise would never be able to uh, attain. As soon as an issue arises, if a teacher needs me, if I'm in a meeting and there's an administrative disciplinary situation that's happening, an email can be sent to me and there's no wait time, I'm able to go and provide support right away. It's just changed the nature of how the school operates and flows because our communication has been ramped up in a way that it couldn't if we were just using traditional models of person-to-person -person communication and no memo-to-memo -memo communication. Like the other Google applications, the Google Calendar can be shared amongst teachers and administrators school-wide. Multiple calendars can be used to facilitate scheduling of meetings and activities among specific school groups. Because it allows for multiple calendars, um, I have a calendar of my personal events, I have a calendar of the, the each academy's events, I have a calendar of the parent liaison's events, and I can overlay all these calendars and see everything that's going on in the school in one day. The old way of doing things has been to make photocopies of a paper schedule, being able to share one electronic calendar that everyone has a copy of and can access and edit completely changes that dynamic so that the world is not thrown off because a memo didn't reach someone in time or because someone didn't get to a phone message that was waiting on their machine through the course of a busy day. Google Talk is an online chat program that provides real-time communications between individuals and groups. The big difference here is that we really have utilized it in a work environment and shown how it has um, changed communication. And whether it be a teacher chatting with me because they're having a problem in their class with technology, a student can't log in, they can't use their projector, whatever it might be. Or if it's teachers chatting about a, a student's day, how things are going. Chat's a function that's used many different ways. During the school day, when we don't have time to run next door to each other, it's also how we communicate how things are going with our kids. So if there's a student who's absent or one who had to go meet with a you know, speech therapist, so that people don't wonder, where did our student go? You know, he or she disappeared. It's also very useful because I can get in touch with a lot of parents that way. You know, it's hard to make a phone call in the middle of the day. We don't always have access to telephones. But if parents are at work and online, and I'm at work on online, I can get in touch with them right away. The Google Apps free suite of software programs is a powerful tool to help create better communication and collaboration between teachers, administrators, and parents. So we really love using Google Apps here because we know that regardless of which platform we move to as time passes, uh, this will continue to be accessible to us. Um, it is end, easily say, sustainable. It doesn't require a specific set of software. It doesn't require a specific kind of hardware. And so we're able to grow as Google Apps grows. And it's really been powerful in that regard. I think additionally, it's replicable because anybody who works here and currently uses all of these applications as we do, if they were to move to another school, could take those ideas and those uses with them. So it is portable, it is accessible, and it is platform independent. But just the simple change of using Google Apps um, 
you know, whether it be collaboration or communication, uh, it has changed how we, how we function as a school. We are a different school because of it, because we know how to communicate well. We communicate regularly, we collaborate, we struggle together, but the struggles now are very different. They're not about sharing data anymore. They're about talking about teaching and learning, because we've been able to eliminate the sort of coordination piece, and now we're really talking about teaching and learning. And when we, when we create a document, we're able to have a history, and that history, when you look at some of our documents, the history shows how far we've come in moving away from detailed conversations to big picture, innovation, creativity, teaching and learning, making a difference for kids conversations. So it has entirely changed what we do.